activists demanding change are spending their 4th of July at the governor's mansion in Raleigh. Good evening, I'm Maggie Newland. The protest is one of a series of events being held in the Triangle and across the country. CBS 17's Imani Payne is covering the story live in Raleigh. And Imani, what's happening right now? It looks like a pretty big crowd. Maggie, there are close to 100 people occupying this space in front of the governor's mansion right now, and they say they are not leaving. Now, if we take a look around, you can see all of these people out here with their signs, chairs, and a lot of supplies. They've been chanting all day long. Now, the group is here asking that Senate Bill 168 be vetoed. The bill could lead to death investigation records being sealed from the public. But meantime, this group says they want more and not less transparency when it comes to deaths at the hands of police. Now, even though it's the 4th of July, the folks here say today is not a celebration. They say there is much work to do here to create justice for all. Now, they also demonstrated in some other places, including Crabtree Valley Mall earlier today, and are planning more demonstrations for the night ahead. Again, here's another look here. They are chanting Black Lives Matter, no justice, no peace, and there's even more demonstrations planned tonight. For now, we're live in Raleigh. Imani Payne, CBS 17 News.